Welcome to the advanced targeting series from TubeSift.com. Today we're going to be talking all about a bunch of advanced targeting options. And the one we're talking about in this specific video is retargeting your competitors or large websites traffic without you putting a retargeting pixel on them. So what I'm talking about is being able to target all of, let's say, ClickFunnels users quickly and easily with YouTube ads without owning the site clickfunnels.com because unless you're Russell, you don't own clickfunnels.com. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So there's a really cool way that you can target in Google ads that not a lot of people are utilizing. Uh, and honestly, every time I show somebody this, they're like, I had no idea you could do that. So um, we'll jump over here. We're in our audience manager. So to get there, you click this wrench up here and then you go to audience manager in the shared library. Now up here, you're going to see data segments, custom segments, and combined segments. You're going to go to custom segments and you're going to click the plus button. And you're going to create a segment. So for here, let's, let's me do uh, click funnels, right? Um, so click funnels, or I might call it like funnel builders or something like that, but click funnels users. Then right here, you can see um, interest or behaviors. And if we scroll down a little bit, it'll say people who browse types of websites. And I'm going to X the other one out. And then we just have to add URLs. So, um, so click funnels login page, right? Um, right here, we can see this is the exact landing page, not landing page. This is the login page that ClickFunnels users are using. So I'm just going to copy that URL and I'm going to paste it right here. Now what's going to happen, and the reason this works, by the way, uh, is you're going to see we're going to get 5 to 10 billion uh, weekly impressions, the gender, age, all that, you know, most of them are non-parents. Here's some of the topics. And this is how you can see that it's working. You can see they're into marketing, advertising and marketing, business and industrial. These are very specific types of people that are hitting the ClickFunnels login page, right? And, um, you know, I think this this might be a little off. I'm pretty sure that more males use it just based on um, going to marketing events and going to Funnel Hacking Live, but I could be wrong. Um but here you go, you can see the demographics, some, some insights about this, all that good stuff. And then all we're gonna do is click save. Now, you might be wondering how exactly does Google get this information? Like, why is this even a thing? You could never target like this on Facebook. And the answer is um, because of Google Analytics and Google search, right? So if you think about it, I just did a search for the ClickFunnels login page, right? Google, and then I clicked on it. Google has literally taken me and put me in that bucket now being like, hey, this guy has hit this ClickFunnels login page, right? Just from the Google search. And then on top of that, I guarantee you that they have Google tracking on their page. They're running ads to it, right? Um, they have retargeting pixels. They have Google Analytics, right? So all of that is owned by Google, like Google and uh the search and all of that good stuff. And Google's compiling all of that data based on users and putting it into a database. And that's literally what they are selling with Google ads. They're selling ad space and targeting and access to their data that they have. So that's why this works, why Google lets you do this. Uh, and yeah, you can do this with pretty much any website. It works amazingly well. And then when you go to set up your YouTube ad, all you have to do is target this specific audience and uh, you can get you can get a lot deeper. You can do uh, search terms. We'll make a whole nother one on that in a little bit here. And uh, there's a lot. You can combine some of these audiences as well. And you can say, hey, I want to target people who are, um, you know, into these specific segments I've created. So you can have the ones that you've created in here, custom segments. So I'd go find my ClickFunnels one, add that. And I could say, hey, I want to target people who are into ClickFunnels and also on my retargeting list or something along those lines. So you can get really granular with this and get hyper targeted, which is awesome. And I, I would say this is probably one of the next best ways to target besides placements. Uh, and this is a little bit more scalable as well, um, but it is gonna be a little more broad. You're not gonna get everybody obviously that's like just visited that page because uh, Google's gonna mix it up a little bit, but we found these audiences work extremely well. Uh, and one tip that we actually do or that we've been doing is if I'm targeting ClickFunnels, I might 
let's say something on my ad, like the first step to funnel hacking, right? Knowing that anybody that's in ClickFunnels is familiar with funnel hacking, and that's instantly going to catch their attention and, um, you know, get them hooked. So just something to keep in mind when you're using targeting like this as well is make your ad creative match who you're targeting. So that's it for me on this one. Um, definitely check out tubesift.com or if you want to know what kinds of ads are going to be converting for these people, you can always check out Video Ad Vault. And we always have links below these videos to those um, to those two products. And if you did like this, please, if you're watching on YouTube, give us that thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, helps me know, hey, so you like this content and I can create more like it. So that's it for me on this one. Bye for now.